welcome back to Control. Let's continue reading those reports. Mr. Dennis, so yes, there's an increase in the AWE cases, and yes, it would be a good idea to put together a special task force to examine exactly why that is. However, it seems that a tiny little detail has slipped through the cracks. We don't have the damn stuff. If you expect us to detect, investigate, and process more AWE cases, you need to give us more people. It's simple math. Between the staff we lost in the Hartman thing and the ones who left for other departments after Kirkon left, we are barely managing to keep up with the workload. Hell, just filing the pipe paperwork for all the altered items we left behind in the sector has been an ordeal. Another thing. And this is going to sound paradoxical, but we have an overcrowding situ situation. This lobby isn't meant to accommodate a whole sector's worth of staff. We put forward a motion to move investigations to a more suitable locations month months ago. It better not still be sitting on your desk. The people are getting restless, and as Kirkland's interim, interim replacement, it's your job to handle it. Best regards. Yeah. What's that? Another report. Blank of blank 2019. To whom it may concern. It is with great anger and regret that I tender my resignation as head of investigations for the Federal Bureau of Control. I do this in protest of the rampant disregard for my department's blank. My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears, so I must now rely on my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. I blame this situation on our blank, who has routinely ignored my request for assistance in reclaiming the parts of the investigation sector lost to the blank booth inside. I will never forget the screams of brave agents begging for us to open the firebreak. I will carry that shame for the rest of my days. Blank has failed his agents. I shall never forgive him for that. Kirkland. Man. It's so dark. Supplementary materials. Uh, don't really care about those. Mr. Kirkland, we stopped at Keystone on our way to the target AWE like you asked. I'm sending my report directly to you to try and keep a lid on this Grumman Morales desertion issue. We didn't find any sign of them here. Given their records, it is possible they've switched teams, like you suspected. But I don't think that's the case. An event def definitely occurred here in Keystone. And I think Grumman and Morales got caught up in it. The entire population uh, population has vanished into the thin air. Reminds me of uh, the ordinary case, but that was just the adults. And I'm if I'm remember remembering the file correctly, this is different. I think our guys are casualties, not traitors. If it was an AWE, it seems to be over. We walked through the whole town and the only strange thing we noticed were markings on various buildings. Two overlapping circles with a dot in the shared space. Could be unrelated. I'll show you the pictures when I get back. In the meantime... Uh, in the meantime you should send a team out here so to cordon this place off and maybe get the comms guys working on a cover story. I didn't get enough rest for my... Okay, here we have some thing. Nope. Mm, item is not in bureau custody, none known. A Frank Elk tractor, olive green, dried blood on the grill when last seen. Item is capable of vocalized responses or growls and unmanned locomotion, considered highly aggressive and dangerous. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after the death of William Burrow, owner, owner of Burrow Farm outside of Trenton, Texas. Local authorities arrived to see on scene after an employee found the mutil mutilated body of Mr. Burrow beneath his tractor. Police arrived, but there were 
but were immediately driven away by the tractor. Panicked calls to federal authorities were intercepted by Bureau Communications staff. A team was dispatched. Upon arrival, the agents approached the item. It was bounded by crawling like a bear. Three agents were injured uh, when they tried to detain the item, which escaped. Earlier searches for the item are ongoing. Speaking to Mr. Miss Borrow only revealed that she had a domestic alter- altercation with Mr. Borrow earlier that the night of the incident. Whether these events are connected is currently unknown. Just let me die. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation was launched into the legality of the prime candidate program blank by the Federal Bureau of Control. Since all known subjects are re- relevant to relevant you know, to the investigation and is executive privilege to decline interviews, very little first hand information was gathered. However, anonymous sources and documentation declassified by Mr. Kirkland both paint an alarm- alarmingly clear picture of systematic blank and blank Blank were brought into the oldest house and placed under blank examination and testing with the aim of appointing one as a director upon maturity. This program has produced no successful cases and only resulted in the traumatic blank of prematurely inclined blank. Not only is this in breach of the Ash Act, but it flies in the face of basic human plan. This investigation team unequivocally uh, blank the prime candidate program and recommends that it be blank immediately. And also we need to find a... Three, four, four, four. I think so in one. There's the one being used. But I was fairly sure I saw another one. Oh, maybe not. Oh, and that powers that. Well, since that powers nothing... Yeah, it actually powers nothing, I think it's broken. There. Now that gate should open. Oh. Use on this if you have a little a bit of soul throat yourself. The purpose of internal investigation is to examine the containment value of specimen SI1 that resulted in the deaths of blank agents. An inspection report of the containment equipment three days earlier showed no faults. Investigators suspect human error to be the cause, yet no department has provided any evidence to support this. Technicians were able to recover the researcher's note on the specimen from the internal network. On the blank of blank, the specimen began displaying a sharp increase in aggressive blank. Cross referencing the, the, that date with various logs found only two events inconsistent with the sector's daily routine. Number one, the air, air filters were changed. Number and two, and number two, an hour prior to the incident, a civilian named Alice Blank entered the sector regarding an unrelated investigation. Given their connection to the same AWE case, it is likely that, that Miss Blank's presence is relevant to the specimen's escape and to the Blank. Investigation is ongoing. I don't know why, but that sound, the clicking, scared the hell out of me. I don't know why. Don't we have any points to spell? I'm no detective, but something definitely happened here. You don't say. This group slash individual has operated outside the Bureau's notice for decades, perhaps longer, displaying a level of skill and caution rarely seen in paracriminal groups. A review of past cases has found various mentions of their activity over the years. In 2016, a production company called Blessed Pictures was connected to an altered item case, as well as the death of an agent from exposure to illicit paranormal materials. In 1994, a Los Angeles-based public speaker named Chester Bless was involved in the illegal illegal use of an altered item. In 1988, a business called Blessed Repair and Services was suspected of involvement with an object of power case, perhaps even creating it. None of these businesses or individuals have ever been located. However, their connection to 
appearances of altered items and objects of power is too direct to be considered circumstantial. An arrest order has been issued for any person believed to be involved with the blessed organization. You really wanna do that? You really wanna do that? Are you sure? Do we know each other? I feel... this feels familiar. I can't seem to... I, I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. I'm... My name is Alan Wake. friend Tom. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An old terror like yourself. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. What's he doing here? And Thomas Zane was with him. The poet. No, wait. He was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. Dr. Emil Hartman was desperate. The Federal Bureau of Control had stolen his life's work. This was his last chance, his final experiment. What he'd been too scared to do before. Hartman dove into the lake, was taken, 
devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Only an echo of him remained, fragmented impulses on autoplay, violent, bloodthirsty darkness in the driver's seat. Emerging from the lake, the thing was captured by the FBC, brought in, contained, studied. The thing broke loose, killed everyone it could. The FBC fell back and sealed the sector. The thing was alone in the dark, lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. Not darkness, but similar enough. A sound. A resonance. It shouldn't be a surprise. If there's one, why not another? The darkness inside the thing could have been immune, could have resisted, fought, could have been passed by, passed through with no effect. But it didn't and it wasn't. Maybe it had grown weaker over time, not aged. It was timeless, but weaker with no link to its source. A metamorphosis followed. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. Okay. Yes, I don't know why. Well, maybe you remember. I really don't like darkness. Okay. Fine. That's actually fine. What the hell? Why is it there? more I think I can get over there. <sighs> this one seems broken as well. No you're not gonna get me. This seems to be working properly. <sighs> Creepy, damp, and abandoned. We've... Why did Wake want me to come here? Wait, we've been here before. Why are we going to the other side? I, 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 I don't remember. No, no I, I don't understand. We've just. You see this, right? So that means I'm not going crazy. Shaded face. Nope, no, no, I refuse. That doesn't look like a house shift. Do I even want to know? I don't want to know for sure. I saw you. We are full on personal mods. Get rid of this, get rid of this, and this. Mm, and this, apparently. Nine, nine. Doesn't matter. Get rid of that. We have level five of that already. What else? This. 
It's not there. Mm, I think that's all. No, this one. And this one. Please, if there is any way to sort them, of course there is. Type. Let them in. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about that, okay? We're not gonna talk about that. That. This one. Hello, my feet gossip at night and I hem and now I have to wear shoes to bed. Offender's property sees as evidence. Oh, okay, so someone was arrested. Uh, and my man is still on the gossiping feed, so don't worry about him. There is something. But I don't seem to be able to get through. Oh, well, never mind then. <sighs> Whoa, looks like the house has gotten a little wild in here. Mm. What the hell? No. This darkness is blocking the door. So now I have to deal with the dimensional noise and sentient shadows. Apparently. Light burns it away, huh? Makes sense. That's a bit of a glee. I'm back here. See? Okay, this actually I wanna go there first. to do that or not but I figure out I just might since I'm already here. <laughs> and yeah, don't get me wrong, I really appreciate this crossover. <laughs> this crossover with me. A little break here. That's for my sanity's sake. So, oh no, thank you very much because I see we have a very good light source over here. Yeah, no. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.